guys ever met Justin before? I just believe he's not there. He's a good brother. He voices a lot louder and very good. So we kind of switch off. Chopper is not here.
for you. I'll spend an hour. Don't be afraid. I'll spend two hours with you. Ask me intelligent questions. I'll give you intelligent answers. But I will not speak to a mocker who will not give me the time of day. I will treat you with respect because I would like to be respected. Jesus says, what you would have whatsoever, you would have others to do to you. Do also to them. We live in a world of intolerance here. Are we not in America? Do we not have the right to be here? Why do people want us to leave? It's our right. I'm an American. We're supposed to do this. That's what freedom of speech is about. Would you want to wipe the First Amendment from the Constitution? I bet you would. If you want equality, then hear what the other guys have to say. And I as well will listen to anyone that has proof. If you can prove there is no God, I'll listen to you. If you can prove that your way is the absolute way, I will listen to you. Give me proof, guys. I will be happy to give you my time and my ears. If not, we will continue to preach that Christ died for sins, that He is righteous. He wants us to live righteously. No more hurting, no more selfishness. The path to eternal life is this. A man came up to Jesus, Luke chapter 10, and said, How do I inherit eternal life? Jesus said, What do you read? This man was a Jew. He knew the scriptures. And the man said this, Go, the Lord your God, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Jesus says, You have answered right. Do this, and you shall live. If your life is about loving God, not hating, loving God. Your life is about loving others, not hating, but loving others. And you are on the path of eternal life. Treat others the way you want to be treated. You want to say nasty things to us? Would you like people to say nasty things to you? How would that make you feel? I am showing, we are showing respect. And we're saying, please, take a track and have a conversation. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Nobody's going to force you. Nobody's going to force you into the kingdom of God. But Jesus said what he said. And when he sent the disciples out two by two, he went there and he said, Don't do these things. Don't do these things. You are against you. Tell them that the kingdom of God is not here then. Okay. Whether you accept or reject, know this. The kingdom of God has come near you today. Tonight, it has come near you. No response.
He did. missing something because I was walking around with that on earlier that's why oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like oh yeah walk away 